Hello everyone. I am filming today a very strange video. That's pretty much all I know what to say. Um, I filmed just recently a video of me putting on 23 liquid lipsticks and today I thought it would be kind of fun to put on all of my highlighters that I have because that sounds like a great idea. I'm missing one, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 highlighters to apply to my face. This is going to be real, like... I'm nervous about this one, but I'm more excited about this one because it won't be as, like, torturous. It'll be a little bit more fun because there's going to be, like, glittery things involved. Um, so, I'm going to start with the liquidy ones. I have, oh shoot, I almost just spilled liquid foundation everywhere. I have three, yes, I have three liquid highlighters. I have a sample of the Cover FX drops that I got in an Sephora. Then I have a Tim 2 BoxyCharm, which are kind of the same color. And then I have a strobing fluid by um, Hard Candy. So let's do this. Okay, I think the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to just use like the butt of my knockoff beauty blender. I wish I could find that other highlighter because then it, my collection would be complete. Okay, sorry about the creepy voice there. Okay, so this is like a really pretty rose gold. It's honestly too dark for me. But, and I'm putting them on the beauty blender because, like, it's easier to apply them when they're on another surface. Okay. Wow. Wow. This, it's like, it shears out that, like, rose gold type of a color. And then it makes it look like a regular thing. I don't know what I'm saying. I went for a pretty toned down look today because I was just kind of like lounging about my house today. I didn't really have a lot to do today. I went to talk to a realtor and then I just watched videos Okay, one down, 30 to go. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to mix this one up because it settles a little bit. This is the Temp 2 one. Temp 2 has a whole setup in case you don't know. They have a whole setup of... Is it air spraying? You know, the beauty products when you like airbrushing, that's what it's called. They have an airbrushing system where you can do your foundation, your highlight, your bronzer, like everything. So, okay, so I'm starting to glow quite a bit. I look kind of oily and shiny. That one is not my favorite. I'm going to mix this one up too. Haven't used this in a while. I used to like mix my foundation with this a little bit to give it like a dewy effect. 
but I found after a while that it just wasn't doing it for me and it's like really tacky my skin just like it looks very like dewy now and like healthy kind of looks goodish okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move on to my cream highlighters I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cream highlighters, which are all color pop except for this one, which is a cream highlighter slash like pencil highlighter. And I'm just going to continue using the butt of my beauty blender for them, except this one, I guess. I'm going to just tap it on with my finger. Um... I guess I don't I don't know Let's see if this works maybe I'll like try it on yeah this is working it's kind of disturbing the other products a little bit I'm gonna look so weird after I'm done doing this. Okay, we got that one done. This one isn't a strong highlighter anyway, so that's okay. Okay, so on to the next. My next one used to be my favorite highlighter of all time. And I haven't used it in a while because I've gotten so many highlighters. Um. I'm going to use the butt of my beauty blender and I'm going to just pick up some. This is Stole the Show by ColourPop. I don't know if I... Oh, I definitely have picked it up. That's why I love it. Oh my god, you can see it even over all those other ones. Ugh. I need to use this like tomorrow whenever I do my makeup. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. It's blinding. This is the best. Like, I need to buy the full size. Oh, shoot. I just picked up way too much. Just, I'll put that. I'll just, I'll just put the rest of it everywhere. Okay. I'm getting shiny. I'm getting, I'm getting some glitz. Some glam. Okay, next is another one I haven't used in a while. It's maybe I should use this one last though. Okay, the next one I'm going to be using is Monster, which is gorgeous. It's a pink reflect. Also by ColourPop, if you can see that. Great for the pale ones like me, but this I think would look really pretty also on like a deeper skin tone because you'd really get that pink just flowing through on that like ebony skin and it would just look so good. I don't even know, like it just, ugh. oh wow. See what I mean? Like, I don't know if you can see that. I'm starting to look like my face is just wet. But that's okay. Be like a good wet highlight. <laughs> okay. Next we're gonna use let me put this away. Hippo, which is purple reflect. In case you're wondering. This one has a slightly different texture than some of them. This one is more creamy. I know they're all creamy, but this one is like softer cream. That sounds really disturbing. A little bit of 
bit of build up in the areas that I'm applying the highlighter. Just got my lipstick all over like look and see. You can see build up starting to take place there in the um, area that we're applying stuff. Okay. Now I'm going to be using Tease Cake, which is a really pretty pink highlighter, which has like some gold, some champagne -y shimmers. One is just like over your blush, like a matte blush, and then you put it over it, and it just kind of like transforms it into like a really pretty shimmery blush. It's very, very pretty. It's kind of got some purple reflect in there too. It's just like golden and... It's pretty. I fell in love with it at one point and I used it all the time. Then for some reason I stopped using it. Okay, three more color pops to go. These, <laughs> I've never used these all together. This is, I think I'm going to need a different sponge for these. This, like, sample beauty blender that they gave me for this. They sent me this. I thought they were going to send me a micro mini of anything, but they sent me this thing. And this is a honeymoon. I love this set that they came out with. Good that. And this is going to, it's a blue highlighter, and these are really glittery. Perfect for, oh my god. Perfect for parties, for New Year's Eve, for avant-garde makeup, perfect for a, a date, a special occasion, wearing around the house. Your 21st birthday. A Wednesday? Any time, really. The next one is Over the Moon, which is the pink one. And it's like... It doesn't want to focus. They're all amazing in their own way. Oh, wow. Well. That looks really cool together on top of all the other highlighters we've been putting on. Okay, and last but not least of this set is Paraloon, which is the green one, and this one's my favorite one. I don't know what it is about this, but it's like... It's amazing. It's as glitterly, it's as glitterly, glittery as the others, but something about it is more magical and alien and perfect as it can possibly be. I forgot we actually have 32 because I forgot about this little Urban Decay sample that I got. I forgot what it is called Afterglow, I think it is. Go ahead and put this one on, the Urban Decay one. And I think the best way to do this is just to stipple it on.
have this rainbow highlighter from Tooth and Nail Cosmetics. I can't remember what it was called. Um, Reflect, I believe. And I'm going to use this um, Ulta brush so I can pick up the rainbow with it. And I'm just going to do that. Holy crap. I mean, we're, we're doing it, so... highlight this is the way to do it okay so I got those two out of the way and since we're doing the tooth and nail cosmetics I'll go ahead and do the other two that I have this is um, Freddy's girl which is the really cool one that looks like his sweater I don't know if you can see it the highlighter and put it on. Oh my god. Wow. I love this highlighter. It's like really festive and I mean you could put it on for Christmas. Nobody would know it's actually like a murderer's highlighter. And the next one I have is Zero, which is this really pretty white with like a red and golden sheen to it. I had another one by Tooth and Nail Cosmetics, but I have apparently lost it. So next I'm doing the Pixie Beauty. Uh, I counted this one as a highlighter, but this is actually a blush and um, this is the highlighter. So 31 again. And I'm just going to take it and put it on. this estate blush in do me it is this well I meant to say um, highlighter it is this pinky purple it's kind of a lavender color it's a baked blush I keep saying blush it's a baked highlighter and it comes off very purple on the brush I'm just going to apply it I'm going to use my Becca highlighter, which is in Prosecco Pop, which I think is like their like most popular one. And I'm just putting that right over all the other mess. to get a lot of texture a whole lot of texture especially on the chin I have um, it's actually an eyeshadow well actually I'm gonna do my wet n wild real quick this one is um, blossom glow which is like this 
pinky gold and I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it on. I need to be glowing in the dark so that lightning bugs in other countries can find me. My wet and wild um, palette here, I'm just going to swirl this around and pick up all four of the shades that are in here and count it as one and put it on. The Cupid's bow is more like a mustache now. You can't see the rainbow anymore. Oh no. Now we have my eyeshadow, the Thunderstruck eyeshadow by Kat Von D, but I wear it more often as a highlight. So, I'm going to use it as a highlight. The Kat Von D page, I will take Gold School, which I just had to have. And I do not regret. Just wipe that all over this. It's kind of hard to pick up that highlighter on a brush. It, I never know if I'm actually like putting it on or until I like look. Okay, gold school complete. An eyeshadow palette, which I did count all of these individually. And we're going to go yellow, blue, green, red, purple, pink. So that's how we're doing it. I'll just get right in on this action. I've officially put on all of these colors. I absolutely adore this palette. I love weird highlighters. I don't know why people are so against them. Um, you should definitely try out a weird highlighter. This is by Naked Cosmetics and it's a goodie. I don't know how much it is. Try it. Not sponsored. Otherwise I'd know how much it is. Okay. <sighs> I've got these really weird things. I don't know where they came from, but they're glittery, so I'm going to count them as highlighters, and I'm going to stick them on my face. Mistakes were made. This one's quite pretty. I have this Artist Couture. Got it in a boxy charm. Really pretty um, on the face when not put over like 30 other highlighters. And the next thing is this Holographic Setting Powder by NYX, which is a gigantic mess. 
I consider it a highlighter and that's how I'm going to use it right now. I have completed this. Every highlighter that I own except two that I can't find are now on my face and one eyeshadow. And two things that I don't really know what they are but they're sparkly and they went on there. Well, I hope you enjoyed putting all of these things on my face. Let me know what kind of weird thing I should do next for entertainment purposes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see the weird things that I do and other videos. And I'll see you in the next video.